Charles IV, King of Bohemia and Holy Roman Emperor, had a long and successful reign. The empire he ruled from Prague expanded, and his subjects lived in peace and prosperity. When the emperor died, the whole empire mourned. More than 7,000 people accompanied him on his last procession. The heir to the throne of the flourishing empire was Charles' son, Wenceslas IV, whose father had prepared him for this moment all his life. But Wenceslas did not take after his father. He neglected affairs of state for more frivolous pursuits. He even failed to turn up for his own coronation as emperor, which did little to endear him to the Pope. Wenceslas the Idol did not impress the imperial nobility either. His difficulties mounted until the nobles, exasperated by the inaction of their ruler, turned for help to his half-brother, King Sigismund of Hungary. Sigismund decided on a radical solution. He kidnapped the king to force him to abdicate, then took advantage of the ensuing disorder to gain greater power for himself. He invaded Bohemia with a massive army and began pillaging the territories of the king's allies. It is here that my story begins.